morning guys! Excuse my voice if it's a little raspy today. We had a very exciting night of karaoke last night. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of my room and after that we're gonna head to a castle and then we're gonna do some martial arts. So today's pretty fun. I can't wait. But yeah, I'm gonna give you a little tour of my Yokon room here. This was my futon from last night. While I was having dinner, they came in and they set it up for me. So this is for one person, but if you have more people staying in your room, there are tons of futons over here in the closet. So there's probably enough for at least four people in here. So you can use more if you like, if you'd like to make a bigger bed. Over here in the closet, we've got some yukata and some overcoats here. It's pretty chilly, so I used one of these yesterday. It's really nice, just something simple to keep you a little warmer when you're wearing your yukata. A safe down on the floor there. This part's always my favorite. See what kind of snacks they got going on. It looks like they have some black sesame gobo, which is a root vegetable. Uh, English is burdock root. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with what that is. I never knew about it until I came to Japan, but it's a really yummy, like kind of tough vegetable, similar to a carrot, but it doesn't taste like a carrot, but you know what I mean. Um, some gobo tea, some tea made out of that same vegetable. These ones here scared the heck out of me. They say natto on them, sweet natto, and I was like, oh god, why? Why natto? But then I opened it up, and they're these really good beans, like two sweet beans. They don't taste like natto at all. <laughs> Look at them. They're huge. Two really huge beans. You know what they taste like? They taste similar to anko, if you've ever had the sweet bean paste. They're really good. I promise, they don't taste like natto, so don't be scared if you see these. <laughs> Over here, we've got a nice view of outside. Pretty high up, I'm on the sixth floor. This little area down here has a fridge, some glasses, hot water pot for making tea and the little tea set there's a TV but who wants to watch TV when you're out of Yokan there's so many other cool things to do in here there's a shower room and a washroom in here and then a little area for getting ready in the morning with like the usual hair dryer, uh, some face wash, face toner, stuff like that. All right, let's go get some breakfast. Mm. Cool, it looks like they've got a buffet here with soup and rice and pickles, okayu, rice porridge. <laughs> Here's our menu for this morning. Yes, more eggplant. Bonus. Some mushrooms, it looks like. Ooh, what's this one? I think it's daikon, perhaps. Some more roasted mushrooms with a sauce. Some veggies. Yes, agedashi tofu. Some pickles. What do we have going on in here? Oh, that looks really good. Another tofu soup like last night. Itadakimasu. Let's start with the nasu because it's always my favorite. <laughs> Got some fresh grated ginger with it. Mm. All the vegetables here have been so fresh and delicious. Like, I honestly didn't know vegetables could taste this amazing. And I love vegetables, but these are so good. They made me a miso soup with mushroom dashi shiitake. 
she takedashi. Seriously guys, as I'm looking over this footage to edit it, I'm just drooling. This was some of the best food I've had in Japan so far. It was so kind of the hotel to prepare a special vegan menu for me. Their staff was just amazing, so kind and so accommodating. This was easily the best hotel experience I've had in Japan so far. I'm gonna grab my luggage, we're gonna go downstairs, and we're gonna head to the castle now. We've arrived at Tsuruga-jo, Tsuruga Castle. You can see it in the background there. This castle is the symbol of the Aizu area. I was just reading a little history on it, and apparently this castle withstood a one-month attack, and finally they were defeated, but they lasted one month, so it sounds like it's a pretty epic castle. I'm gonna show you guys some of the detailing along the walls. There was a part where they show how the samurai climbed the walls during an attack, and I thought that was really cool. And then we're gonna go inside, however, I can't show you guys the inside. They don't allow any filming in there, unfortunately, but you guys are gonna have to come here and see it for yourselves, which I totally recommend because this area is absolutely gorgeous. This whole Aizu area is amazing. I love it, this is my second time here, and I definitely want to come back. Look at it, it's so beautiful. So quiet up here. So these are the different lords that ruled this area during these time periods. Do you guys recognize any of these Kamon family crests? The only one that I know is Tokugawa. I'm not sure of the others, but you can look them up if you're really interested in samurai. The kamon are really cool. So these stairs here were used by the samurai to climb the walls during an attack. They're called Musha Bashiri. Alright, we just climbed the castle. We're at the top floor now and we have a gorgeous view of the entire area. All of these trees are sakura, so if you came here in the spring, it would just be like a sea of cherry blossoms. So that would be so pretty. The gravesite of the daimyo lords from the Edo period is also located nearby if you're interested in visiting that. Next, we headed into this building to learn some epic samurai battle skills using the naginata. Naginata practice is all over. That was so fun. The last time I was in a dojo, like actually uh, practicing was when I was doing Kung Fu back in Canada. It was really nice to get back in there and it makes me want to start something again. That was great exercise and I just love practicing kata. They taught us the first couple kata sequences. I think I got it down okay. I did pretty good for the first time. The teachers were lovely and one of them made us snacks to take home with us. Really great people up here. I just love this place. We're gonna take you guys somewhere really cool next. We didn't think we'd be able to make it there on time, but it looks like we can, so I think you're gonna love this next place. Guess what we're at this station for? I'll give you one guess. Oh, look at them. This guy reminds me of Motto. This is Basu. And this is Dabu. And we're gonna meet Dabu. 
Basu was the original station master. He passed away and Dabu took his position. And he's here today, so let's go, guys. Ashi no Maki Onsen Eki. Neko ga Hataraku Eki. So the station master cat is on duty from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So if you would like to see him, make sure you arrive here during that time. This is Dabu chan, the station master. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Boy, 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 having fun outside. <laughs> He's the most well-behaved cat ever. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, oh! You wanna catch the dragonfly? You wanna catch the dragonfly? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. is the end of our Aizu vacation. I really hope you guys enjoy these vlogs. I really fell in love with the Aizu area when I went there for the first time in the spring and I was telling myself that I would love to go back during a different season to see what it's like and I'm super happy that I got to do it in the fall because it was just a perfect time to go. The weather was not too cold, not too hot. It was a great temperature to walk around and explore the area. There's so much to see and it's just such a beautiful area that you really want to like get out there and walk around. So if you do make a trip up to the Izzy area, I recommend going in either the spring or the fall. However, the little village that we visited, I saw some scenes from there in the winter when it's just like stacked with snow and it looked really epic. So winter would probably be really fun up there as well. Either way, I really recommend that you go and visit this area. It was calm and beautiful, not crowded at all, really friendly people, delicious food, and it's just such like a welcoming atmosphere it's a great place to go and relax if you're looking for like a getaway from the busy city like Tokyo. Make sure you go on over to Simon and Martina's channel now. There's a couple videos over there. They covered stuff that I didn't cover in my vlogs and you guys definitely don't want to miss it. Some of the amazing food that we had and Simon did a really adorable interview with the cat station master. It, it was really cute. You guys definitely want to watch that. So go check those out and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!